coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10's Aaron Peters. Good evening. We had a hot and sunny start to our weekends. Take a look at what I'm tracking for you. Those mostly clear conditions we saw throughout today will continue into tonight. It's around a mostly clear night, but it's going to be warm. Our low tonight is going to be around 5 degrees above average. As we get into tomorrow, it's going to be a very similar day to today. Where it's going to be slightly warmer, still staying sunny and hot. Now, for better or for worse, so we will be staying dry for at least the near future as we end off our weekend and start off our work week. So look at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker. Now, you could see a few thin clouds here and there as we get throughout tonight, but for the most part, it's going to be a mostly clear night. When we step outside, you're just going to feel warm and muggy, not that comfortable tonight. As we get into the future cast, you see these clear conditions I mentioned are going to continue to tomorrow. This is at 6 a.m. Then it's just going to continue into your afternoon, into your evening hours. If you're someone who didn't like today, you're not going to like tomorrow's weather either because it's still going to be hot. The good news is we are going to be staying dry and it's going to be sunny as well as we get to Monday. Same conditions. Storm Team Tins Everett Lyle call this copy paste weather as today's conditions look like they're going to be the same for these next couple days as well as we remove this ahead on the future cast. This is at noon on Monday and these mostly clear conditions are going to continue into the evening hours into Monday night as well. Let's take a look ahead for tomorrow. See, we're going to start off a clear start to the day. Still going to be somewhat warm around 8 a.m. Still going to be sunny around 69. By the time we get to close to noon, it's going to see temperatures get into the mid 80s. Eventually, we're going to get back into the 90s, unfortunately. So take a look at the temperature trend over these next five days. Keep in mind, today's high was around 91 degrees. Tomorrow's going to be slightly warmer, as I mentioned, around 92. But we look at these next five days, all going to be seen see temperatures in the 90s pushing the mid 90s. Keep in mind average high is only around 85 degrees for this time of year. We get up to 94 on Monday. The warmest day we're expected to see over these next seven days is going to be on Tuesday when it gets up to 97 degrees. After that though it does cool off slightly 95 on Wednesday then 93 on Thursday. So as I mentioned if you didn't like today's weather unfortunately you're only going to stay inside over these next several days. It's going to be hot and comfortable and just to add some more bad news over these last couple days, we've been in this comfortable category in terms of the dew point tracker, but as those temperatures start to warm up as we start off our work week, we're going to see it move into the muggy and humid category as well. So unfortunately, it's going to be getting hotter and more uncomfortable outside as we get to our work week. Your forecast for tonight is going to be mostly clear night, not as cool as it was last night. It's going to be a warm and muggy night overall, 68 degrees for the overnight low. It's getting to tomorrow, another hot day and scheduled. It's going to be sunny though, and we're going to be staying dry. We're going to have a light breeze from the south-southwest from being 5 to 10 miles per hour, high around 92 degrees tomorrow. It's getting to tomorrow night, similar to tonight, mostly clear light south breeze from 3 to 8 miles per hour. Overnight low, just slightly warmer, around 69 degrees. Take a look at the 7-day forecast. We're going to be staying hot over these next several days. See, it's going to be a sunny into our weekend, into our work week. We're going to see temperatures peak over these next couple days at around 97 degrees on Tuesday. By the time we get into Friday, it looks like we do see a slight chance of precipitation, but that might give us some relief by the time we get to next weekend. As Saturday right now looks to be around 86 for the high.